Well, if you've noticed more restaurants popping up downtown lately, it's not just your imagination. News 5's Emily DeVoe joins us live in downtown. And Emily, you spoke to the people at the Downtown Alliance, and they crunched the numbers for you. They did, Pete, and they say that this is actually the largest business in general boom they've seen since they started tracking property transactions about six years ago. Mobiles in the middle of a restaurant boom. There's so much interest in downtown now. Hole in the wall. Uh, it's literally a hole in the wall. Which caters to the O'Daly's bar crowd. <laughs> officially opens this week. It's like a permanent food truck. You walk up to the window, order your food. Boosters also opened this week down the street. We're trying to do like really authentic style tacos in a super laid back environment. And ever since Chuck Fish House opened last month, They've been packed. Mobile's just been really good to us. In Midtown, the new public shopping center could be home to several new restaurants. A realtor for the project told us about four or five have already signed letters of intent. Three of those are big names we don't have here in Mobile yet, but they can't announce who until they officially sign their leases. So if you find yourself thinking, man, there's a lot of new restaurants popping up, that's because there are. That looks like a nice trend. Carol Hunter at the Downtown Alliance says this is the largest boom they've seen since they started tracking properties in 2011. When I looked back last year, we had 90, a little, right around 90 transactions. And this year, we're just halfway through the fiscal year. So six months in, we're on track to see 140 properties change hands this year. Meaning you'll have a lot more options of where to grab a bite. So speaking of all these great new restaurants, I'm standing in front of O'Daly's in their new hole in the wall location right next door. And today, tonight actually, is their soft opening. So if you're hungry, you might want to come on downtown. Reporting in downtown Mobile on Dolphin Street, I'm Emily DeVoe, News 5.